Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to try to preserve some more of our eggs, which we do several different ways. The first way that we always do is we dehydrate our eggs. We put them in quart jars and save them that way. And we have probably, probably 50 or so quart jars of eggs right now. And there's roughly, I think, what is it, five, seven, eight dozen or something like that in a quart, something like that, give or take. I'm not real sure on the number, but there's a lot of eggs in there. All right, and the second way we do them is we freeze them. And I, we have videos of all this, how we do it, how we, you know, how we preserve them. And this is just another step in how we're going to preserve our eggs. We're going to pickle them. We do pickled eggs also. So we're just going to go through the steps of how we pickle our eggs and stuff like that and how we do it. Just Maybe it'll help somebody else out. Maybe it won't. I don't know, but we'll see. So what we're going to do is get our jars ready. And this is how we do it. This is not a how-to, it's just how we do it. So, it's just our, basically our recipe that we have, that we do, and the stuff that we put in them. And today, I uh, had a couple people reach out and they wanted some hot ones, so I'm going to go ahead and make those. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by cutting up an onion, the purple onions. Let me get this cut up, and I'll be right back. This is kind of how I like to cut mine up. I like to cut it come up like this. And then what I'll do is I'll cut them in half. Just like that. That's basically, you know, just half around or whatever. That's how I like to do all mine. So basically, that's one whole onion. Alrighty guys, got my onion cut up the way I want it. Uh, we got the two jars. I'm, gonna, I'm only gonna do two jars. We had these in the oven kill anything that was on them basically so what I'm going to do is we're going to start off with I have uh, peppercorn black peppercorn I just put a few in my hand you know about you know about that many put them in each one all right then we have dill seed all right then what I'm going to do is take this dill and do half a teaspoon in each jar lid on that all right then I have mustard seed half a teaspoon in this jar half in this jar There's that. okay I'm gonna take a few of these onions and put it in the bottom not many because I'll put them in as we put the eggs in, I'll put a few here and there more as we go up. So I don't want to put a whole lot in the bottoms. Let's put a few in. Okay. And right here is the, the kicker to what I do. We've got the orange habaneros. I also take, and I also put uh, Carolina Reapers in these things too. And believe it or not, they're not as hot as you would think with Carolina Reapers in it because the vinegar and stuff like that you put in them, it does calm them down a whole lot. So basically what I'll do is cut this pepper into fours, seeds and all. Just cut it straight up into fours. Like that. And I'm gonna put a whole pepper in. Well, what I'm gonna do is put half in the bottom, like I said, I'll show you. I'm put half in the bottom. And do not touch your face. We also have some dill, some dill weed, but I won't put that in it till halfway through. Okay, so there's that. We'll need one more pepper, but that's like I said, we'll get a little, a few of the eggs in there. All right, guys, here's the eggs. What I'm going to do, these are boiled and peeled. We also have a video on that, how we peel, boil and peel eggs, fresh eggs. Just gonna lay them in there. No certain way, no certain order, just pack them in there. These are fresh eggs from our chickens. Pill about halfway full. This one about halfway full. Okay. 
Okay, it's about halfway full on both of them. Okay, now what I'm going to do, put a few more of these onions in there. And honestly, the onions are more for looks than anything, just to be honest with you. Just sprinkle a few in there, here and there. You put as many as you like, or you don't even got to use the onions. You can use whatever you want. All right, then I'm going to put another half a pepper in each one. There's one, there's one. They're not as bad as messing with the Carolina Reapers though, because them things are them things are lethal. Alright. Now we're gonna take some dill. Normally what you do is you take one whole stalk of it like this. Break it off. And this is I mean it's for dill in it too, but it's it's more for looks than anything, garnish type thing. I try to put some on both sides like that. Each one. I like the smell of this stuff. Okay. This is basically the same way we make our pickles too, and our pickles come out very, very, very good, so. All right, then we'll put the rest of the eggs in. you go okay step one you can actually put a couple more onions or whatever in there if you want but I'm not going to I'm gonna leave it just like that because that's plenty okay now the next step is we're gonna fix the brine and get that ready so soon let me get everything together for the brine and I'll be right back what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use straight apple cider vinegar and all I'm gonna do is bring it to a bowl that's all I'm gonna do and I'm gonna use four cups that's probably too much And I'll also use one cup of water. All right. All right, as soon as this comes to a boil, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix in my salt. I'll just shake a little bit in it because I mean, there's no, the way I do it, I really don't put like a certain amount or anything. I just put it in to kind of where I like it. So anyway, what we'll do is we'll shake a little in it. We'll try it and see what it tastes like and stuff like that. So we'll get this to a boil and i'll be right back uh, it's just now coming to a boil and uh let me let me say this first normally when i make hot anything i normally use food coloring the red food color to color the vinegar or whatever the brine color it red that way i know it's hot all right i'm using regular pickling cannon salt and what i'll do is basically just sprinkle some you know pour some in I'll sprinkle it just pour it that much and I'll stir it mix it up real good just kind of try it to see how salty it is have to do right there oh and if we're going to put these on the shelf long term if we're going to store them for you know months and months and months and months or years whatever we will water bathe them but this time we're going to put these straight into the refrigerator because we've already got them promised out to somebody. So what we're going to do is we're going to make them and they're going straight into the refrigerator. And you would water bathe them for 15 minutes. What you want to do is once you get these things made and you want to let them set for two weeks, at least a minimum of two weeks. So, you know, give them time to pickle. And what I do is I fill them to right there, that ring right there. Okay, let me 
grab my paper towel and my lesions. What I'm going to do with this ring, the inside lid, is while that's hot, I'm going to drop them in there for a minute or two. It's going to be very hot. Tight, don't, don't torque them down, just kind of finger tight them. The finished product, and all the seeds and stuff in the bottom. And what you do is just give it a good shake like that, and that'll get everything moving around in there. And right there's what we're wound up with, just like that, right there. That's what we got, and these are going to be deal. So, I mean, if you don't like dill, you can you can go with a different, whole different ingredients if you want. You know what I mean? But this is just how we do it. We like our stuff to taste dill, like dill pickles, you know, stuff like that. So. And we do do some without the peppers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Most yeah. of them. 99.9% of them are without the peppers. The peppers just because somebody wanted them that way. All right. If you ain't done so yet, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button. It'll help us out a little bit. It won't cost you a thing. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. Subscribe. There you go. Good job.